happy St. Patrick's Day weekend. Tom Barnes. Stories from the 78 coming to you from downtown Chicago at the Pendry Hotel. And at this hotel, they feature art. And not only do they feature art, but they feature local art. And uh, this weekend through Sunday, you can check out Elena Gotti. She's going to be here all weekend right in that spot right there. We can come watch her for live demos and the whole thing. She'll even do an artist talk on Sunday. So you should come down here and check it out. I'm going to talk to her about her start, where you can find her work now, and the whole thing for this story from the 78. So let's go inside and take a look. All right, so you're looking at Michigan Avenue, and uh, you're right off the Mag Mile here, downtown Chicago, and there's an artist residency happening here at the Pendry Hotel, and I'm with Chicago and Elena Gotti. How are you? I'm good, how are you doing? I'm doing awesome. So, I mean, this is a lot different from doing artwork in your bedroom. Yes. You know, you are on Michigan Avenue. It's like a showcase spot here in the city. Not bad for a girl from Saganash, huh? Nope, not bad at all. It's been really awesome. I'm lucky. So you're a lifelong Chicagoan, grew up on the Northwest side, went to your U of I grad, the whole thing. You are like the Chicago person, and now you're doing, and I mean that as a compliment because yeah. I know so many friends who have followed that same path, but you have really taken off with your art in the last couple of years to the point where you got a few followers on Instagram is what I'm getting at. So congratulations on that and just your artwork in general. It's amazing. Thank you. Thank you. I really appreciate it. It's been like a crazy journey, but um, I'm really grateful for opportunities like this. It's awesome. Yeah. So this hotel is fairly new, but it's right here at the corner of uh, Michigan and Wacker. And you're here all weekend. Tell folks what they can expect from your artwork. And what's your Instagram handle so they can start following you immediately? Yeah, my Instagram is Fiorenza underscore art. And you spell my name, or my middle name is F-I-O-R-E-N-Z-A. It's a long name, so it's kind of hard to remember. Got it. But I'm here all weekend from 11 until 6. I'm doing some live painting, and I'm selling some prints and exclusive originals here. And then I'm doing an artist talk on Sunday. So what does an artist talk entail? Like, what is that? explain what that is for yeah. folks like me who might not understand it totally but is it just your philosophy on what you do and stuff like that totally it's just going to be like everything creative a little bit more about my art i'm going to chat about this piece and kind of the thought process behind it and then it'll also be a meet and greet for me to meet people say hi and have some prosecco <laughs> always a good time for that right yeah. i mean it's a great weekend to be down here it's st yeah. patrick's day weekend lots happening in the city for sure uh, but describe your artwork for people, and specifically this piece here, and you're obviously not done, you're in the process of making it, but how long does something like this take you to do? Yeah, that's a great question. It varies. I feel like this will take me the full weekend to finish off and just kind of get it to exactly how I want it. But basically, with my art overall, it's very much so just kind of exploring what really goes on in my brain along with like human truth and human connection that's always been kind of the basis for my work and I've always loved animals loved creating animals so it's kind of just found its place back in my work and I'm happy about that I know I was watching some of your stuff on Instagram and you post you know different works that you've done you're like I want to hang this on the wall before I sell it like yeah. you want to get the most out of it I think that's awesome though I think just being wanting that because it's like an extension of you almost right yeah and it took so much time and effort and energy so i want to like enjoy it for a little bit you know yeah how long does something like this take you to do like probably six days will be like the longest i'll work because i'm impatient so i got to get it <laughs> get it done within like six days yeah yeah and so you've been doing this art your whole life really but it, it took off in the pandemic in a in a fun way why don't you explain a little bit of that uh, just because uh, I've, I've had that conversation with a lot of artists in the last couple of years. Yeah, I mean, I think like during the pandemic, everyone was just on their phone and like relying for this human connection so badly. And I was so bored. I always knew that art made me happy. So I just really like leaned into that. And I always wanted it to be something more than just a passion project. Mm -hmm. So I started sharing that more so online, and I think people really just gravitated towards that. Very cool. Yeah. I mean, I, I congratulate you for all that and taking off and really following your passion and doing your thing. Where You're here on Michigan Avenue uh, showcasing your work. I mean, that's got to be a little surreal, right? Yeah, I mean, it is crazy. I never thought I'd be here today, but I'm really grateful. Do you have an idea of how many you've done in the, in the since you've gone like professional? Oh like, my gosh. <laughs> I maybe like a hundred but like That's originals great. probably like 25 or so but I've done so many like digital pieces I can't even keep track 
Uh, so you're doing this this weekend. Yeah. Where can people find your work outside of this event here this weekend? Is it on your Instagram page or anywhere else? Yeah, I post every day on Instagram. That's usually where I share all my latest and newest pieces. Um, I'm on TikTok too, and I actually just started a YouTube channel. So I'll do like a whole behind the scenes of like this event and just kind of like my process in general. All right, so I know that I'm keeping you from working. So are you going to start working like right now? Like is it's kind of this is the working art studio for the weekend, right? Yeah, going to get back to painting and um, meet some people. All right, well, fantastic. So I'm just going to show a little bit of that right there. But come on down this weekend here at the Pendry Hotel and visit my friend Elena right here. She's going to be here all weekend long. All weekend. And that big artist talk on Sunday, right? Yes. Fantastic. And uh, you can email me if you have any suggestions, uh, TomBarnyChicago at gmail.com or head over to the website storiesfromthe78.com. We'll see you guys later. Thank you very much. Appreciate Thank you. It.